in the attic. A little bit of smoke coming up through holes which have been drilled to represent a small amount of leakage into the attic. There are holes drilled under the soffit <clears throat> to represent ventilation through the soffit. Both sides, uh, the right side of course has the intake, the blower motor. Uh, same size and volume, same make, same power input as the roof. The roof is built like normal attic ventilation to draw air and this is turned around so it blows air in. Um, also it's clear through so when the other one's running uh, this one doesn't as well as having holes drilled in the top of the roof and uh, ridge vents cut in the top as well. Okay, let's see what happens. This is the uh, top fan. This is the traditional type attic fan. Notice the ventilation holes and also the living space. Okay, see the disturbance inside the living space and also drawing the smoke up out of the living space into the attic. Okay, let everything settle down. <clears throat> now we do the blower under the soffit um, and same function no disturbance at all in the living space, losing no space to the soffit at all. We are getting some vents out somewhere. No, I was just left over or something. See, the blower does not disturb the living space. Blows through here and then blows the pressure out of least resistance. See, and when we stop the, the blower, we're getting smoke coming up into the attic again. So we're, we actually eliminate, by pressurizing the attic, we eliminate smoke getting into the attic. Smoke representing your air conditioned living space, heat, cooling, 